And so the question that I now want to pose to you is, what is the electron configuration for C8 2 plus, also known as the calcium cation? I'll give you a moment to think about it. All right, so we'll start by filling, filling in the lowest energy level first. And so calcium, well, actually, let's start by mentioning a few things about calcium. The um, atomic number, the Z, is 20. So it, this represents the number of protons. Therefore, the neutral molecule would have to have 20 electrons orbiting. But this has a charge of plus 2, so we're going to do the opposite and subtract two electrons, or two equivalents of um, negative charge, leaving us with 18 balanced electrons orbiting the nucleus, okay? So yeah, that should be enough to uh, figure out the electron configuration. So the first en energy level we're going to fill is one, and it contains the s orbital, and that holds a maximum of two electrons. The next energy level is the second, and the lower um, orbital in that one is going to be an s orbital as well. It also contains two electrons, and the next orbital in the second energy level leading to the next energy level, third energy level. My bad. Whatever, you get the point. And there's an S orbital holding a maximum of two electrons. And so far we have 12 electrons accounted for. So we need to account for the six. Six more, I mean. So the next orbital we're going to fill up in the third energy level is the P orbital. And it's going to hold a maximum of six. And if you summate all these numbers, they give you a total of 18 electrons, which is the electron um, configuration for the calcium cation. And what I want you to notice is that another element in the periodic table that's not in ionic form also has this same electron configuration, and it's going to be argon, all right? So whenever you have ions and you're asked to write their electron configurations, usually they'll have an electron configuration that's the same as a noble gas element. 